Greetings gentlemen and ladies, in today's video I'm going to show you how to basically make any um, anything multiplayer, anything occur on, uh, so for example, there we go, we see my guy equipping his gun or shooting his gun. And what you can see on the left and the right is uh, two clients being connected and they, you know they both see the same thing and that's the point uh, so let's dive right in I'm gonna try to make this really simple this is if I, you know I got confused trying to figure this out a lot watched a lot of tutorials it was a lot of it was more than I needed to know and I just needed to know how to do it so that's what I'm gonna try to focus on in this video how to make anything multiplayer any event multiplayer replicated so let's say it's you know shooting a projectile or equipping a gun or just spawning an actor Right, let's do that one. Let's just spawn an actor. Let's do something really simple. And the same formula applies for basically everything. So uh, this is my character uh, blueprint right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get a new hotkey. Let's get the space bar going on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just go custom event. Uh, this will be the server spawn act. So let's call it server spawn whatever, right? I'm going to just title it that way so it's clear that you can just name that whatever you want. Okay, this is the server spawn whatever. And it's good to put SVR server whatever because we're going to do, uh, uh, first we need to do uh, the server version, run on server of the event. And then what we need to do is another custom event which, run, which uh, is replicated to all the clients connected. So don't worry if that's not clear yet. You don't need to really understand it, you just need to know how to do it. So this is the multicast uh, custom event which replicates on multicast. So I'm just going to call this multi uh, spawn whatever. Okay, so there's server spawn whatever, multi spawn whatever. And we need both of these uh, if we want all the clients to see the thing that happens. So basically it works like this. First, the uh, player does the thing on their local client. They send that thing to the server. The server does its uh, basically registers that command from the client. The, the server then tells all the other clients uh, in the multi spawn and the multicast to do the same thing, right? So player one equips gun, sends that uh, event to the server. Server is like, okay, I heard you. Uh, um, I'm going to tell everybody else that you just equipped the gun. And then the multi spawn basically sends that to every, so everybody else sees it that you equip the gun, right? Okay, so let's let's see how this works. Um, so like I say, this is run on server, this is run on multicast. In the multicast is where we actually do our things, right? So for example, if it's spawn actor from class, and let's just I'm going to choose a silly one here. Let, I'm going to choose like uh, say uh, I don't know. I'm just going to spawn a gun, randomly spawn a gun. All right. So now let's maybe, uh, so, okay, so here's the multi-spawn doing the thing. So right now this is not gonna do anything uh, until the server tells the multi-spawn to do it, right? So I'm just gonna go server tell multi-spawn, multi-spawn, whatever. Server, you know, call this action of multi-spawn and then the multi-spawn will do that thing. But the space bar in the client is actually gonna call the server version of the spawn whatever. Right, so the, here's the the local the player hitting spacebar. It's saying to call the server event right here, and then the server is basically just saying, uh, "I hear you." I'm now I'm going to tell everybody else. So it's triggering the multi spawn, and the multi spawn is actually doing the things. So what we're going to probably want to do is uh, say, for example, take the spawn transform. We might want to uh, we might want to figure out where to spawn that transform, and we're going to get our client to tell us where they are, where they are in the world, because maybe we want to spawn the gun, let's say, right on their head or something like that, right? Something silly so you guys can know what I'm going to do. So spawn transform will do, uh, let me just split that. So we have location, rotation, scale. We're just going to grab the location for now. And I'm going to drag that pin into my um, multicast. When I do that, I'll notice that it's also appeared over here. And I'm going to drag that over into my server bit. And then my server bit is also going to appear right over here. And here's where I can actually send some information into that. Like where is, for example, here's my character mesh. Uh, let's get socket location of the player's head. Where's the player's head right now when they hit the button? Because that's where we want to spawn the thing. So I'm just going to send that information right there. 
it's going to that, that's going to send to the server. The server's going to be like, okay, I know what to do. I know where it is. Uh, and then the uh, multi spawn is going to be like, okay, I know where it is too, and I'm going to spawn the gun right there. So I'm just going to compile that, and that's actually pretty much all there is to it. That is as simple as as you as it is. Um, but let's let me show you that in action here. So here we have client number one on the left, or whatever client number two on the right, and I hit the space bar. Oh, and there's the gun on my head. <laughs> all right. So the gun spawns on your head, and you can see it appears on both the left and the right, and that's kind of all there is you know that's kind of the nutshell for how to do that right um, a little further explanation I could probably say for example um, you, you might want to think about what information you need to send over to the server like what does the server actually need to know try to send as little information as you need to uh, so that you have you know less commun less communication you know faster response times all that sort of stuff so in this case all I need to know is uh, it's always going to be the mini but let's say it wasn't always the minigun alright so let's say it's it's something else so let me go ahead and make that a flexible variable right so I'm gonna drag the actor class over here and I'm gonna connect that over here and now I'm going to be like, okay, now I can select which actor class to spawn over here. So maybe it's going to be uh, a different thing. Spin, uh, you, there we go, a different gun that I have. So now the client is saying I want to spawn a different gun, right? And since we've made that like a, a variable that we're sending now, that depending on whatever the client's wanting to say, it'll be a different gun on his, on spawning on his head, which is where guns, you know, should spawn I think right I think that's how it works in reality and physics anyway I hope you guys have found this video helpful I just wanted to do a short um, uncomplicated how to actually do multiplayer stuff without necessarily fully understanding all the things but basically how to how to just pull it off how to do it okay hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you later